please subscribe our channel education point and press bell icon to get notification of new educational videos. Hello everyone, you are all welcome to lecture number 90 and again I am discussing about this important terms used for refined petroleum in the form of fuel and I have already discussed about the flash point, about the knocking, about the anti-knocking. I will now come to octane number. Octane number is also very very important. Uh, property to determine the quality of refined petroleum that is fuel and here I have already told you that if the fuel is containing lot of long chain straight chain like heptane, octane, nonane all these hydrocarbons they are not uh, branched then that mixture of hydrocarbon if it is there in fuel that is of poor quality and you may get the chance of knocking that is hammering and metallic sound while you are climbing and if it is branched like uh, isooctane if the percentage of isooctane is high and actually in fuel two uh, mixtures are there uh, normal heptane and isooctane and normal heptane they are straight chain that is after refining and the isooctane that is branched one if the isooctane is in maximum quantity mainly isooctane and branch chain then that fuel is called the octane number of 100 and it is of high quality and there are three conditions that if it is less in octane number then quality will be poor and if it is very high then it is called highest quality and that highest quality is used in your as a aviation fuel because it is climbing and it is uh, ascending and against the gravitational force so it needs lot of high amount of energy and how amount of energy you can get only from isooctane from branched or cyclic or aromatic rings so here I have already given you about the octane number in order to classify the fuels to the knocking property a scale of uh, rating fuels has been established by the scientist whose name was Edgar and it was given in 1927 and he, gave, he observed that normal state chain alkanes knock badly but branch chain is very less so it was his observation that if your fuel is the mixture of only straight chain hydrocarbons there is knocking there will be knocking hammer sound will be there but if it is branched then it will be drastically reduced that observation given by edgar in 1927 and here example is given the first example here is normal heptane and this normal heptane cs3 cs2 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 five times and then cs3 and this chain a octane number is zero so for this straight chain if only this one is there in your petrol gasoline or fuel what you may call it is having octane number zero it means this fuel will give lot of knocking sound metallic sound while you are climbing to I mean some hilly area or some slope and this one second one is that is your one two three four five carbon is there and it is branched at four at two at two there are two methyl group so it is two two four one two three i mean two two means at two there are two methyl group at four one methyl group so it will be known as two to four trimethyl pentane so this two to four trimethyl pentane is highly branched and here the octane number if only such type of branched hydrocarbons are there in your fuel, the octane number will be highest, it will be 100 over 100. So such type of fuel can be used for aviation industry. And therefore, the octane number of given fuel may be defined 
as the percentage of iso octane it is determined by what percentage of iso octane is present in that fuel that iso octane is going to determine the quality of your fuel if percentage of branch and iso octane is very less it is a poor quality if the iso octane number is very high it is a very good and high quality and normal heptane that has the same knocking characteristics of the fuel under examination is a standard one high the octane number of the fuel the highest is the anti knocking property it should be noted that number one crude gasoline have low octane number once gasoline is refined so lot of states and small like methane ethane propane these will be cleared out so once it is refined it is octane number will be high means the crude gasoline will be having low octane number number b octane number of cracked gasoline is higher so that gasoline which has undergone the cracking process a cracking i am going to tell you after the cracking the octane number uh, percentage will be increased and that will be of good quality and the third one that is c octane number of aviation fuel is the highest that is up to 100% cracking you know cracking is the process by means of which we can convert the complex or long chain hydrocarbon into simpler one and there are some three methods like thermal cracking hydrogenation cracking so catalytic cracking so by this process and why we are doing the cracking because due to the rapid industrialization uh, we need lot of gasoline and we are not reaching to that demand and supply of gasoline that's why we are going to uh, do the cracking of some less volatile complex hydrocarbons into gasoline and that is called cracking so here cracking means natural gasoline and straight run gasoline obtained from petroleum are quite insufficient to meet the demand of petrol and gasoline so to meet the demand because what demand is there for gasoline is difficult to meet that's why we have to follow the cracking procedure in order to get the gasoline and cracking procedure we are breaking down the complex hydrocarbon gas uh, petroleum crude petroleum molecules into simpler one gasoline as a result of rapid rise in the number of automobile during last few decades this deficiency is met with the production of petrol from less volatile products of crude petroleum by means of cracking so this deficiency you know it was very difficult to meet the deficiency that's why we started the process of cracking and by this process of cracking lot of products we are getting and that one is used as a gasoline and even in our cooking cylinder that is uh, pentane gas butane gas is there that one is also used as a for cooking purpose so is out of uh, cracking the uh, product we are getting so by means of cracking or by controlled pyrolysis pyrolysis is a process where in absence of oxygen they are doing the uh, cracking that is called pyrolysis the cracking may be defined as the decomposition of higher hydrocarbons into lower hydrocarbon at high temperature this is the definition of cracking means decomposition means breaking down of the higher hydrocarbons to a lower carbon hydrocarbon means simpler hydrocarbon at high temperature this is called cracking of higher hydrocarbon into lower hydrocarbon at high temperature there are three types of cracking a that is called catalytic cracking catalytic cracking means in presence of suitable catalyst the breaking down of higher hydrocarbon to lower hydrocarbon at high temperature takes place that is called 
catalytic cracking. The B1 is thermal fracking. It is carried out at high temperature and applied high pressure. The C1 is hydrogenation cracking. In this type of cracking, the heavy ions are converted to gasoline by action of high temperature and pressure in presence of hydrogen. So these are the reactions during cracking. The number one reaction is where at 1000 degree, the methane will be converted into carbon and two molecules of hydrogen. That is called carbonization will take place. In second reaction, dehydrogenation will take place. And in third reaction, that is propane. Uh, there will be free radical formation, that is methyl free radical. And then C16, H34 will be cracked into simple molecules C8, H18 and C8, H16 and that is called chain fusion. And last one is, that is hydrocarbon complex one will be changed into benzene and that is called aromatization. Thank you very much.